This is my review of Nintendo's new Wiimote. This goes with their Wii system. <clears throat> the Wiimote has... The Wiimote has an up, down, left, right buttons, the A button, the plus and minus buttons, and the home button. It's kind of hard to get it close up as well as the one and two buttons. What you have down here shows which controller this is. This is first player controller, it's number one. You can have up to four controllers for each Wii system. Also, um, it has this power button that will turn the system, the console on and off. And on the bottom is this B button, useful for various purposes. Overall, I like the weight and the feel of the controller. You can pick the, one of these up for 40 bucks any place that you can buy video game systems, video games, things like that, um, controllers, things like that. You can pick like Target or Walmart or GameStop or anything like that. Um, you could be a, you can pick one of these up for 40 bucks to go with your Nintendo Wii system. Um, different people I've seen online have modded it to be able to work with uh, with a um, computer. And one of the things that helps to make this work is the sensor bar. That sensor bar right there senses, helps to sense where the controller is in three-dimensional space. It makes it easier for this to work, makes this work better. And um, you can not use that sensor bar, but the batteries that, in here, that are in here will only last about half as long. If you've got the sensor bar connected to your, the sensor bar up on top of the TV connected to your Wii, it, I believe it cuts the battery time it increases the battery time about twice as much. Um, that is the Wiimote. It moves around in three-dimensional space. It'll keep track of things in three-dimensional space. As you can see here, it tracks your movement left and right and up and down. And it also tracks your rotation. As you can see here, I have this as I rotate it. You can see the little finger twisting and it'll track you in three-dimensional space. One of the things I was a little disappointed about this, with this, was that it's not quite a precise point. I'm obviously it'll keep track of where you're pointing and all that kind of stuff. It actually shakes every time I connect, every time I touch something that I can click on. So I don't know if you can hear that on there. But it'll shake and you can hear the uh, noise. It also has this little speaker right here. So certain games that you play, you will hear things happen on that speaker. Like the twanging of a bow or the clashing of your sword or whatever. Um, <clears throat> fun little thing, one of the things I didn't like so much is that it's not quite a precise aim. I figured it would calibrate it and you would, like, you would show, okay, this is the end of my screen, this is the other end of my screen, this is top of my screen, all that kind of thing. No, instead it's, it's kind of precise. What I figured out was that if that if the the hand is down here, the front of the remote is aimed directly at the center of the screen. If it's directly at the center, then it's aiming actually at that directly at that center at that sensor bar. So um, it's not quite precision. I would have liked to be more precision. That way I could play games like shooting games and be shooting exactly where I'm aiming kind of thing. Um, overall, I would give this Wiimote a five out of five. Oh, I'd say four out of four point five out of five stars, because it's um, because it's just not as precise as I was expecting it to be. But overall, that would that would come out to be about five out of five stars. And as you can see, it turns the system off. Thank you.